Hey guys, what's up? I'm Erin and welcome back to the channel. Imagine retiring at 35. People might think you're crazy, but you've done the hard work. You've built your portfolio. So what's next? That might not be too wild of a thought. I was recently on a Reddit thread and ran across a couple of people saying they were attempting a retirement in their mid thirties. At this point, the biggest challenge isn't growing your wealth. If you're retiring that young, you've already clearly done a great job of it. Rather, the biggest challenge is now making your portfolio last for the next 60 or 70 years. So the real question is, how do you create a sustainable withdrawal strategy that can stretch this many decades? And the answer may lie in a strategy most people have never heard of, the variable percentage withdrawal method. Now this method is credited to the Bogleheads, a group named to honor the late great Mr. Jack Bogle, founder of Vanguard and inventor of the index fund. And when you have a group of people who are passionate about saving and investing, it's no surprise that some people within this group entertain the idea of retiring early. So it's no surprise that the Bogleheads have set out to create the ideal withdrawal rate no matter what age you retire at. The variable percentage withdrawal strategy, the VPW, adjusts your withdrawal percentage each year based on two factors, your remaining life expectancy and current portfolio value. This is distinctly different from something like the 4% rule, which tends to lock in a withdrawal and then adjust annually for inflation. Instead, this withdrawal is recalculated annually and it does increase over time, becoming more aggressive as you age. So you tend to withdraw more as you get older, perhaps when you need the money most. One primary and very important assumption to keep in mind with VPW is that it assumes a life expectancy of 100 years. So looking at some of the key features of VPW, each year a new percentage of your portfolio withdrawal is calculated. You are not using a fixed percentage withdrawal of your portfolio or a set withdrawal, which is a pretty big difference between something like that popular 4% rule. With the 4% rule, you withdraw 4% during your first year of retirement, and then each year going forward, you adjust that amount for inflation. So really, the only time you withdraw 4% of your portfolio with the 4% rule is in the first year of retirement. After that, it's just an adjustment for inflation. With this strategy, you calculate a new withdrawal from your portfolio each and every single year. There is no adjustment or allocations made for inflation. You simply withdraw a percentage from the portfolio's value. The Boglehead Forum offers a spreadsheet that details the withdrawal rate from ages 18 to 100, and it offers different portfolio mixes, starting with a more conservative 30% stocks and 70% bonds, working their way all the way up to a portfolio that is 90% stocks and 10% bonds. And because I don't wanna detail every single withdrawal rate for every single portfolio type at every single age, I will simply link this spreadsheet down below if you're interested in checking it out. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to focus on the 80% stock, 20% bond portfolio. VPW's flexibility comes from adjusting your withdrawal rate based on current portfolio value each year. There's no need to worry about adjusting for inflation, as the percentage changes based on your life expectancy. For example, in your 30s, you would withdraw about 4.4%. In your 40s, that jumps to 4.6%. By your 60s, it raises to over 5%. In your late 80s, it jumps beyond 10%. The idea is to fully use your portfolio by age 100, assuming that's your life expectancy. And essentially this withdrawal strategy starts with fairly typical or standard withdrawal rates at younger ages. But as we move into the older ages, we see that these withdrawal rates become what I think everyone could call quite aggressive. But the whole point of this portfolio is to deplete your portfolio in your final year of life, that assumed age of 100. I feel like this kind of follows the philosophy of the book, Die With Zero, if you've ever read it. The whole idea is that VPW calculates the withdrawal rate based on the remaining life expectancy of a retiree. This ensures that the percentage of the portfolio withdrawn increases over time as life expectancy decreases. This strategy does not provide a guaranteed income for life. You won't prematurely deplete your portfolio because you're simply taking a set percentage from the portfolio each year. And this adjusts each year based on life expectancy and portfolio's value. But it is a very real possibility that your portfolio could have very large fluctuations. And as a consequence of this strategy, your withdrawal amount could have very large fluctuations. 
And just because your withdrawal percentage is increasing over time, that doesn't guarantee that your total withdrawal amount in terms of total dollars withdrawn is increasing over time. If your portfolio's value is declining over time, it could be a very real possibility that the amount you're withdrawing is declining. There very well could be some key situations in which this type of withdrawal strategy has a lot of utility. That book that I mentioned, Die With Zero, kind of has a cult following around it which shows that there's a lot of people who have this mentality, this mentality of I've worked my entire life to build up this nest egg. I want to spend every last bit of it before I leave this earth. Of course, this is the biggest challenge because none of us know how long we're going to live. It would be a lot easier to plan things if we knew when our expiration date was, but this really is the biggest unknown when it comes to life and financial planning. But this withdrawal style does start fairly conservative, and as you get into the later years of life, it starts to get very aggressive because the goal is to entirely deplete the portfolio. Now, this could be fitting for someone who has really high medical costs near the end of their life. Maybe they move into an assisted living facility or maybe they move into a nursing facility and having a withdrawal like this would actually help to fit these types of medical bills. On the other side of the spectrum, it does set out to try and answer the question of what do I withdraw if I want to retire early? Say I want to retire in my 20s or 30s or 40s and I want to embrace that fire lifestyle. What is the withdrawal rate I can use as it tries to assign a withdrawal rate to every single potential age for retirement? Unlike the 4% rule, VPW doesn't adjust for inflation. It's strictly based on a percentage of the portfolio. The 4% rule picks a set percentage of the portfolio in the first year of retirement and then makes an annual adjustment for inflation. That is not this strategy. It is distinctly different. This strategy withdraws a set percentage, whatever the withdrawal is assigned for that year, of the portfolio. That's it. I think if you're an early retiree who wants to follow something like the more traditional 4% rule, then I think it would be best to adjust that percentage down to like maybe 3% and then you can make your annual adjustment for inflation. But I just like to point out that these strategies are distinctly different. I do really like that this withdrawal strategy is dynamic and responds to how the market performs. I love the idea of having a flexible withdrawal strategy, withdrawing less in the years when the market is down and withdrawing more in the years where the market is up. I think if you're willing to respond to the market, I think you can create a more dynamic portfolio. And I think it also helps you enjoy your portfolio a little bit more by allowing yourself to spend a little bit more in those up years. One thing to keep in mind, if you use a withdrawal strategy that sticks to a strict percentage of portfolio, you do remove the risk of depleting your portfolio because you're always just withdrawing a percentage of the portfolio's balance. Now, as with all withdrawal styles, this one is not perfect and it does have its drawbacks. First and foremost, VPW does not guarantee a minimum level of income each year, which means if the market has a year or a few years where it performs poorly, this could significantly impact how much you're able to withdraw from the portfolio, and this could impact your lifestyle as a retiree. Inherently, the withdrawals of VPW are dictated by market performance. So a retiree would need to be comfortable with a fluctuating withdrawal every year, but many retirees do prefer a set stable withdrawal that they can rely on. So this can add an extra complication to a retiree's budget. And inherently, if you compare this withdrawal style to fixed rate strategies, it requires a set of annual recalculations, which might require more planning and more adjustments. So this does have an added layer of complexity that some retirees just might not want to deal with. While VPW might be great for someone aiming to maximize every single invested dollar, it's not necessarily best for everyone. If your goal is to leave a legacy or have a set steady withdrawal, a more traditional withdrawal strategy might be more fitting for you. But if you're looking for one that fluctuates based on market conditions, perhaps VPW is worth exploring. What are your thoughts? What kind of withdrawal strategy are you going to use once you hit retirement? Leave your thoughts in a comment down below. I post new videos every single week. If you got anything at all out of this one, please give it a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Or if you know of someone who might get something out of this type of content, please consider sharing. I'll see you soon. Bye. You know the biggest problem living next to an airport? The airplanes all day long. I don't even notice them unless I'm filming. But it is convenient if I want to travel. I need this plane to go by. 
only notice it when I'm filming. Okay, I think it moves to what I, we could all assume. Uh -uh. There was a pause, I didn't like it. <laughs> That's not helpful to anyone. Fall, welcome to fall where everyone has a leaf blower. I do love fall though. <laughs> Consider sharing, I'll see you soon, bye.